wants to go forging. You want to go forging, Shaker Man? Yes. Let's go forging. Let's go forging. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, let's go forge. Let's go forge. Yeah. Hey guys, Rick here from Forge and Drill Rio. Had a viewer ask to do a quick video on my anvil. I got this last year. As you can see, it's a Pittenhouse anvil. I got it from uh, Rigid. Rigid took over, I guess, bought out Pittenhouse. And uh, it's 125 kilogram or 275 pounds. an upsetting block you can barely see the serial numbers there it's five two four it says zero one Hole. I believe the face is about five and a half inches wide and I think it's a total of 18 inches in length. There's the horn, nice horn. Of course you see the, the magnets I got here. Pretty quiet. I have it mounted to a wooden base, and I got this uh, design from I forget who it was. Somebody on YouTube checked it out. They're uh, offsetting. I think these are two by. I think they're eighteen or. Maybe 24 inch planks that I cut to size. Offset it so I can put my hammer or hammers there to hold. You can see on this side, I have some of the hammers. And I wrapped it down and have some uh, U bolts that I. All thread. They're all thread bolts. They go through the length of the the whole block here. I screwed each one together with regular deck screws and then ran two all thread the entire block with some washers and lock washers. And then I wrapped around with a chain to hold it down. You figure something that heavy wouldn't move around but when you're striking the the anvil it's it does move so you do have to kind of secure it and it works pretty well I have these uh, turn turn buckles say that three times fast or fast three times turn buckle three times fast turn buckle turn buckle turn buckle anyway those help me to tighten it down nice and secure and we'll did come with uh, just the factory factory edge here and on this uh, this side here right here and right here I've rounded it off with an angle grinder uh, a little bug Is that a, some kind of ladybug I'm gonna make my finger all right I'll leave them alone Anyways, I've uh, rounded this off a little bit so it wouldn't be so sharp. Uh, technician, Technicious Joe? I guess how you pronounce it. Uh, on YouTube, he's a blacksmith. He told me that it, you know, it needs to be uh, rounded off so it wouldn't you know, make such ugly corners on the metal when you strike it. 
anyways you round it off a bit and you got to be careful with the uh, angle grinder it'll take off the material pretty quickly and uh, this is somewhat round I, I might be doing a little bit more a little bit more on it yeah and here I got it a little bit sharper I didn't want to do it yet to find out where I like it but all you need is a small little area to get a nice round edge on both sides so of course you have the very sharp edge here on this side okay there we go all right until next time guys good luck god bless